Monsters blog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to this midway update prior to going into what this video is actually be all about. So I was want to apologize for my long absence from the video making. I had some projects coming in between, like work and studies, which means I haven't had the time or energy to do these videos. But uh, now I'm actually back and I thought I would uh, do something like this, get some things done. Some time ago I was asked to do a favorite top list uh, when about the Horus Heresy series. Uh, but since that's still an ongoing series, uh, I thought I'd do something else while we're waiting for it. Uh, also I haven't read all the novels more than once, with a few exceptions, so I think I don't I shouldn't do a valid opinion of them unless I hadn't read them at least twice. Uh, but since, uh, but while we're making for, while we're waiting for that video to happen, I think I, should, I thought I would do. Um, I thought I was gonna do some uh, the theoretical thinking as I was gonna go through the Forge World uh, Primark mini range. Uh, as you all know, the Forge World has been releasing the the Primarchs miniatures uh, uh, from their websites all f for the past two years soon, I believe. Uh, so far, four uh, Primarchs has been released and a fifth is, sup uh, is suspected to be released later this year. Um, the, the point with this video is that I was gonna go is that I, I was gonna go through all the models and, and tell you which of the Primarchs I would like to. I will go through the Primarchs which I will get, those I want to get, and those I don't want to get. Uh, much of this will be based upon the, the pictures that depicts the Primarchs uh, and also the stories which is all about them. Uh, then those will be the valid um, uh, the things that will be wait where, where I will base my opinions upon. Um, so let's start out with the, the existing range, those Primarchs which uh, have already been released by Forge World. Uh, out of the prim Primarchs that exist today already, uh, I have already bought Angron, as you might have known already. If you look down here, you will see that uh, a link to the video where I talk more about the model. And you can also see it right now. that I'm uh, letting him do a special appearance in this video once more. Uh, to be quite honest, uh, I don't think I would have bought, uh, bought uh, him if I knew that a cooler Primark would soon be appearing in the range of models. Uh, but at the time when I was ordering from Fortwell, I was thinking, I don't know if I will, will ever do this again, so let's go crazy with it. Uh, when the second model came out, which is Fulgrim, I knew I just had to have him. Uh, Fulgrim is one of my overall favorite characters ever from the from Warhammer 40k universe. And I do collect his legion, as you already know from my miniature series. And I hold the story about him, which is called, also called Fulgrim, in one of my highest favorite spots so far. Uh, when I heard that Ferris Manus would be released next, I, I wasn't that much thrilled when I heard about it. I don't like him as a character, as he seems like a really he's the boring loyalist counterpart to Angron, pretty much in the stories. Straight to the point, no bullshit, and hot-headed. He... I have yet to uh, read anything about him that captured him. He appears in Fulgrim, where he is this boring. He appears in Feet of Iron, which, where he is very boring. He does make a short cameo in the first Heretic, which is pretty much the only good part which I have read about him, uh, where he mocks Lorgar pretty much. Uh, 
So, I, I wouldn't want to get him since he's such a boring character. But when I saw the actual model, uh, my interest for the Iron Hand grew fanatically. He's like really amazingly done. And the, the, and the sculpture really captured him in a good way. Uh, the model is pretty simply beautiful. Uh, together with the reading Wrath of Iron, written by uh, Chris Ray, uh, my interest for the Iron Hands grew. Uh, they, they still don't have any type of character, but that is their actual type of characteris characteristics. They are stiff and machine-like, so that's, that, that's their characteristics, and that's why Chris Ray really captured them in a great way. Uh, however, I won't be getting the model of Ferris Menace uh, uh, But if I ever did do an Iron Hands army, he would have been the first thing I would have gotten for that army. Uh, then we have the Primark Lorgar, which was announced uh, this Christmas, this Christmas last year. This was actually a character which Iron Hands came out and fleshed out, and I wanted to see more about. Uh, if you have seen the covers of Aurelian, as you can see now, and the other novel called Betrayer, uh, you think it's a badass character, um, together with the really fantastic, fantastically written stories about him. But when I saw this model, this, which is an old man in grey armor, I was highly disappointed. He was devastatingly bad. So it, this was the other other way around, uh, unlike when the, with the character Ferris Manus, because Ferris Manus was a boring character but with an awesome model. Lorgar was an awesome character from the novels but an awful uh, model. So that's a very sad to see actually. Uh, the next Primark to be released is Horus, and there's only been some leaked pictures of him from Forge World Worlds, uh, where he was still in, in uh, work in progress. Uh, unfortunately, the Sons of Horus is a very generic legion in my in my, in my own opinion. And, and, but Horus is a cool character, but not the model I would like to purchase in the future. Uh, unfortunately. So now we're treading into unknown territory, and I think the thing we should do is going through the models which I do not want to get because they have no interest for me whatsoever. First out of these uh, Primarchs is Vulcan. Uh, I have never cared about Legion or the chapter which followed after that, nor its Primarch, uh, which is the same which I can say for Jagatan Khan of the White Scars. Even though I've heard Chris Rafe uh, have made their Legion a uh, hell of a lot more interesting with his new novel called Scars, he is just a, like Horus. He, I, I will simply not want to get the model. Uh, the next character which I will not be getting is Mortarion, which is unfortunate because he is an interesting looking character. Uh, he has very cool traits and really looks badass. But the stories have not exploited and explored what has driven him to do the choices he made, like follow, why did he follow Horus? So that's kind of made a turn off for me to get him. And I do not collect, and since I don't collect his legion, the Death Guard, I, I won't be getting him as well. It would just be a, a waste of money, to say so. Uh, it would have been nice to try and make for me to try and uh, do my shot at make, uh, painting a model, but uh, yeah, I simply won't be getting it. Uh, I, I don't want a model just for, because of having it, I actually want to have a reason to have the actual model. Uh, I would say this is uh, the end of part one, so. If you just wait and look up here in this corner, there should be a link to part 2 where I will be discussing more about the upcoming Primarchs. So see you all in part 2 of this video.